Yeah, I, I, I try to be more and more aware of that. And I thank you for obviously pointing that out. Uh, in the nicest possible way. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that's, this is the art of conversation. This is what I'm saying is missing. You know, there's a lot of people out there that just turn around and say, well, that's bullshit, mate, you know, and, and, and laugh and snigger and because that's cool. And then I'm supposed to say, ah, oh, fuck you. And, but really, since when did fighting talk become acceptable? Because it's fighting talk, isn't it? When did it become acceptable? Yeah, the uncouth. Going back to what I was saying before about, you know, the, the boy on his bike and slamming down his bike and, it, and that's acceptable behaviour. You know, 50 years ago, people would be doing such things. But then there are certain things that ha are existing now that didn't exist then. And part of that is the belief of who you are and what you're here to do. Acceptance is a gift from God. Do we accept what we have to do? Because like it or not, if you don't accept the government and the system, then you've got something to do. It's not a case of get rid of them and scapegoat to somebody else. No, if you get rid of the government, you now have all the responsibility. Can you make it happen? Can you, El? Be real. Yeah, as bad as they are, the devil you don't know is probably worse. So going back to the justice panels, Trafford justice panel, you're saying your neighbor is someone you would trust more so than even the judge now. Have you really thought about that now? Because they, they're kind of giving you what you wanted. Be careful what you ask for. There's people that are lunatics and haven't got the first clue between ethics and morals and right and wrong. Uh, uh, answering to them could be worse. I mean, within that, the, the, there is the hope and the belief, maybe, that's, that we can learn to be better resoluters of conflict. And as a society, we start to mature. But that's a big hope, isn't it? That, that is, and it also infers that before we get right, someone's answering for a wrong. And usually people are quite angry. And if you're asking the person with emotions to make a logical decision about it. Most people are just getting off their face on drugs. Yeah. Trying to avoid even thinking about it whatsoever. Mm-hmm. But, you, you, you know, I can't get away from it because you can come around talking. <laughs> God is helping you really he's helping all of us man because if you don't answer it now God help you later on have you not seen everything we talk about three years down the line when we've already been through it others are just starting to wake up to it and it's like wow we've come through that we're on the other side of that and we're seeing the, the, the blessings now and they've still got all of that to come you know it's like school, man, you know, so we're in the sixth form, getting ready for university. <laughs> and they're, they're still in the first year. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> but nothing wrong with being in the first year. You have to, we too was in the first year and we got to the second year, now we're in the sixth form, and then we're going to university. That's life. That's the bell curve of between teacher and student. And you never, ever stop being a student and you never, ever stop being a teacher. You just... Ebb and flow. Your home, you know, your frequency. So like you were saying earlier, your consciousness becomes more aware of something than less aware of it. That's your frequency. That's what your life is mainly about. So, um I mean, the real reason I have to talk so much is obviously if I'm recording this, we can't have like 10 minutes of silence while we just think about something, you know, we need to oh, yeah. fill it with, with, with concepts. And that, that's why you know, it's like that. Waffle is just fucking up. <laughs> it is. I have the, the super, the super ability to waffle to death. No, it's, but I hope people really get it, you know, cause those that want the stimulation of it, Certainly, I hope being stimulated and, th and made to think in ways that they like to think or maybe didn't want to think. And that's all good. And I, I, what I really want is feedback. You know, if you think I'm full of shit, say, yo, full of shit. But don't just leave it there. You know, this is the, the age of the Renaissance man. It's not the age of the dumb. 
Yeah, that, that time is done. The dinosaur is, is extinct now. It's the age of intellectualism. Yeah, answers for things, reasons for thinking like that. You know, give a hypothesis. Because we're in uni now, we're in, you know, we're doing baby talk. Like, I don't like you, Yabu, stinky pants. You know, <laughs> just, 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 just have, have some real reason. Because I'm not really trying to be nasty to anybody, I'm just being true to self, you know? Hey? Well, why do you think that? Academic university is a joke. I've been to a couple of them. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, it's just people get paid for doing shit that they don't really like doing. <laughs> Isn't that, that, that all jobs? With a boss, I mean? Because you know, real, real education is outside of the classroom, yeah? In the real world. But you have, to have, you have to start somewhere. And I think having what we've got for kids is actually pretty good on the whole. Because the, there's a lot of people out there especially, they're not all like us, they're not all geniuses, you know. They wouldn't know where to start, yeah? Tell me, tell me what the volume of a cone is. Yeah, tell, tell me how to work out the radius of a circle, you know? Tell me, you know, an in-depth meaning. Don't just say two words, it's all right. You know, describe something for me. Use your brain and develop it. It's stimulation. And I, I but I do agree that the, the community has to have more input. But that's down to the community. That's down to in, each individual it's having the duty and the responsibility. It's up, to, it's, up to, it's up to the geniuses to think of all of that. It's oh. it all out. <laughs> you know the thing about some geniuses? You should be, you should be able to sort all that shit out. Yeah, well, some, some geniuses well, have realised that they could genius. pretend to be stupid, <laughs> but a stupid man could never pretend to be a genius. You know? So the, 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 the clever man Pretending to be stupid and, and talking down to people, well, patronising. There's a lot of genius and yeah. stupidity, that's why it's so popular on the telly. Yeah, yeah. But really, people have not well, fathomed just how clever those people really are to be able to analyse it. There's a whole culture, well, this is, that's the subculture, though, isn't it? You know, that's why they use actors so much, because actors have studied the psychology of human beings. They study... The, the facial gestures. So when we see them on TV and they think, oh, they're a bloody good actor them, oh, well done, they got an Oscar. It's because they're studying us. They're studying themselves. And so in doing that, the system knows that they're very good at convincing people. They're experts in, I suppose, human psychology and emotion. And it's emotion that's driving a lot of decision-making. Emotion is, <laughs> is not logic, you know? So it's almost like when this, when emotion is needed, it's all logic. And when logic is needed, it's all emotion. Why can't we just balance everything all the time? But maybe that's our purpose. Maybe when they come with too much logic, but we have to come with the emotion. How can it be bipolar if, if, if you can balance everything all the time? Do you know what I mean? Well, you're saying they're making us bipolar. Yeah, they're just giving us a name for what we are. Mm, bipolar, that, yeah, that's Michael Sarri again. Isn't that like the Earth is bipolar? It's got an, an old yeah. pole and a south pole. Yeah, right? yeah. Surely. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I'm equatorial. What can we do about our... our... <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That, 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 that sounds nice. In, in the middle. The middle ground. Well, it's, it's funny <laughs> that the... the, 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 the the, um, the Garden of Eden and, and the Cradle of Civilization and all of that is on the equator. You know, it's funny how, you know, physiologically the Earth coordinates and the parts of the Earth that seem to be most desired lie along that line. Isn't it? I think, I think most of the problem is that really humanity is a migratory species. I think that's the problem. That's why we understand things like ley lines, uh -huh. and they're, because, because they've been important through, from from the beginning of time, and, and people preserved that. And 
Yeah. But ultimately, people should be moving somewhere where they where they where they're supposed to be. Where and the energy and, flows. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know if they're not there, they miss out. Then, then. Well, this is why shops have put themselves on the ley line because they know the energy comes to that point. And therefore, if the energy comes to that point, what, what do the people do? They come to that point. And because time is energy and working is energy and money represents that both of those things is the energy. What do people do? They deposit their energy at the focal point. That's why banks are all on the corners of streets. The corners of streets are made by the people who make streets, which, you know, they're the great architects. They're the Freemasons. They're the ones that built the matrix and knew why they were doing things a certain way. All of that has been lost. And a lot of it has been lost because it was biblical knowledge. You had to know and study the creation and about the creator to know these things. During the, the Victorian period, there was a renaissance in religion it's to the point it, where it was it, over the top it is quite handy to be able to just say that actually to, you know and, and with confidence that actually all of it is just completely a lot of bullshit and it's just you know thing, things that all right but for things, bullshit things that, they things believe that, in it things that people have done that for bullshit they've it. built systems on it and you're gonna start asking at least one question which is why why have they built their system and still today even though parts of it have been dismantled, yes. hoping that you forget what it's about. So that they can exist in the situation that it is. You really think that? I think they're waiting for us. I think we're the ones that need to change. And uh, as much as they're throwing it out there like an attack, they know ultimately that the psychology of human beings is such that if they told us we've got to do this and got to do that, we reject that. But if we choose it, then we're more likely to go along with it, especially if it fits with what they want. Now, some people fear that and call that new world order. Others are starting to see maybe everything isn't as black and white as what we perceive it to be. Maybe there's a, a higher purpose to everything. What do you think? I don't think there's any such thing as a higher purpose. I just think there's purpose. Okay. Okay. That's that's okay. That's a, that's a starting point. Why should, why should one purpose be higher than another purpose? So why does that make me a communist? No. No. I, I just think that the amalgamation of the ideas from the giants that we stand upon can converge in a glorious way. You know, we're almost ready. It's a tipping point and many wondrous things can happen. But because the focus has been, if, you know, if we don't do such and such, then all the bad things are going to happen. Well, that's, that's created an awareness, hasn't it? Now, the, you got to wonder, who orchestrated the awareness? Was it us or was it them? Yeah, you know, as many, many times you've, you you've you found yourself humming a certain song, and subconsciously that's been playing, and maybe if you turn the radio on, oh the song's playing, and you think, well how's that happened? Is that synchronicity? It's like every time, you know, for ages I kept seeing eleven eleven everywhere, and I I started asking myself, well is it just because I've placed significance on it? So whenever I see it, I think, oh significant, it's eleven eleven, you know, not like. 252 then why why is that not significant because i've placed no significance on it but maybe if i started thinking 252 and then every time i see it oh i'm seeing that a lot you're gonna see it at least once a day aren't you or twice a day <laughs> you know and there's, so there's a chance every chance of seeing it oh god man it's like cheech and chong with morals and ethics mm, mm, yeah well it's an interesting conversation yeah, you know, and, and the things that you you question are good as well. And you say we we need to question everything. 